Hello everybody, my name is Matheson, welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm with myself and Sin Victor. What's up, man? Hello, how's it going? He's going, I'm going Rhaegar, let's see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, Rhaegar, you're gonna, I think you might like him, he's, uh, he's more of an aggressive support, so... Uh, I think he said you also had Lili, but Rhaegar's he he doesn't really play like any other support just because he can go offensive if you want him to be. If you ever played a uh, an enhancement shaman at all in yep. uh, in WoW, I have. Uh, he plays very very similar to that, but he also has the resto shaman capabilities of basically solo healing the entire. Time. Um, so you, it's really up to you. I would say with this team, you want to go a little bit more towards the supporty side since we don't have anyone who's tanky except for Zarya. All right. Um. And uh, yeah, they've got they've got a lot of crowd control. They've got basically four stuns on their team. Great. So <laughs> it's, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to be. I have to watch myself, but I am playing as Kalthos, who is basically my main hero now, besides Illidan. And I'm hoping that our Zarya player is uh, on the ball with those particle barriers. I mean, I'm eager to try it out. I tried Lily out in a bot game just to see what it is, and I, I was very taken aback that it required very little micro oh, she, skill. Yeah, you just hit Q and she just heals. The nearby yep. area, and I'm, I'm like, wait, what? I don't have to click on the person I want to heal? That doesn't make yep. any sense. Why? It's very low maintenance as far as support. <laughs> Rhaegar, on the other hand, is sort of high maintenance, but not nearly as intensive, micro-intensive as, like, someone say, uh, as Tarana is. Okay. All right, they're, if they're going to go, let's see. All right, who, what should be my first talent here? I haven't played Rhaegar in a long time, All right. so he's uh, gone through a few changes last Increases time. Earthbind Totem area and range. Increase Lightning Shield radius. Increase my Ghost Wolf move speed, or Lightning Shield is also cast on me. I, I'm i always a huge fan of anything that boosts my mobility, because you can freely shift into Ghost Wolf whenever you want. Oh. And that can get you in and out of bad situations. The increased uh, Earthbind Totem area is also not bad. Rhaegar's got some pretty, some pretty solid all-around level 1 talent, so I would say whatever your heart tells you. I like having a little bit of extra movement you know, to keep you safe. But that's just me. I'm not really a Rhaegar player. Sonia should uh, maybe die, maybe not. Use Zarya. Clear. There we go. First blood. I'm gonna go after Jimmy here. Jimmy should be dead. Okay. Oh, there we go. Lucio should be dead here. Nice. Quad kill. All right. Good start. <laughs> I'm not going to say that was all because I told you to take the level 1 movement talent. I'm just saying. <laughs> but no, I, I honestly, I do like having a lot of mobility on my on, on Rhaegar. Because, it, again, you can freely switch in and out of Ghost Wolf form anytime. And there's that little leaping uh, attack that I was telling you about before we started recording. Yeah, that's really um, cool. So you, you can use that as an execution, and you can also use it to get away. Clear is right next to you. I don't know what you do if you were there or not, but... Yeah, here comes Jimmy. I feel like she probably didn't. Yeah. I sup I sapped up all my mana during that fight though. It's alright. I'm gonna go tap for mana. Yeah, I'm almost out of mana too. But yeah, anyway, you can use that little that little lunge that he does to uh, get away out of out of sticky situations too, because of the fact that if you're like in the middle of a lane but the enemy creep is past you, you can leap away from someone who's like you know, like almost in like sort of a kiting routine. I should probably try and keep you alive. I'll be all right. I've got, I, I've got, I've got my main man Kalthos here. So I, 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 go for the same build every single time I play Kalthos. Plus <laughs> Zarya, the Zarya player is doing a pretty decent job at uh, throwing out the park. But I will take a heal any, any time you see me low. Yeah, wanna, of course, of course. I don't want to say no to free heals. But I do have a solo survivor. Oh, there's though. a stealth lady right down there. Um, all right. Reduces chain heal mana cost, I feel like, is the way I want to go. Yeah, if you're going to be spamming your Q, you're going to need that quite often. Watch Feral out for the heart increases health and mana regen in Ghost Wolf form as well. Like I usually go, I usually either go for the reduced mana cost on chain heal or go for Feral Heart. Yeah. Uh, because you can, again, you can shift freely, especially if you're not doing any of the laning in your lane, like if you're with me. Um, yeah, that can that just sit around. You, yeah, that'll allow you to sit in Ghost Wolf form while I clear up you know, the waves and stuff. Because you won't have to do much. You just gotta watch out for the lunar flare from Toronto because that's gonna be followed up by a Valira stun, which is then gonna be followed up by a Rainer stun later on. Okay. 
This is Jimmy. I'm gonna try not to get too caught out in the middle of the lane because I don't know where Belira is right now. She was in mid the last time I saw her. I can at least poke Jimmy down though as long as he doesn't have his Q up. All right, so that hunter, Tyrande put a hunter's mark on me. If you have that on yourself, just disengage and, and uh, run away. Uh, because that the hunter's mark, it looks exactly like the one from WoW. It's just a red arrow that points down. Increases on damage you. on you, I'm assuming. Yeah, it, but it's from all so You got to be real careful on that, especially with someone with a long range poke like uh, Jimmy. Yeah, there's the that was the lunar flare. That did. That's the stun. That's the that's the skill shot. That's Kind of difficult to predict because it does have a small radius, but so far we're so far so good. I mean, we've been killing many other lanes. It is seven to one right now. Yeah. yeah I'm just gonna keep using. It's crazy my that it's seven to one and we're still like the same level. We're almost a full level ahead, but. Yeah, it's just because if they if they've killed any of us at one point that our levels were higher than them, that's they gonna gain give bonus level. bounce yeah, back. Yeah, that's the comeback mechanic. Um, if you want to help me turn in real quick, I've got 11 gems. Yeah, let's do it. Me... Alright. Turning in. I do not know where the Valyria is, but I don't see any Shimmer near us. Oh, there's a Valyria right, right down the mid. Uh, oh god, there's so many to choose from. Do I want Blood and Thunder, Ghost Wolf attacks, reduce? Nah, I don't want that. Farsight, activate and re to reveal target area and nearby enemies. That could be cool. Whoop, yeah, found, that, found that Lucio. Also, that also breaks uh, stealth, by the way. Uh, makes tar or cleanse, makes target ally unstoppable. That one's good if we're going up against a stun count, which we are, but it's a little bit, I think that might be a little too micro intensive. No offense, but you may you may focus on other stuff without realizing that you can cast that. Okay. Um, it's a, it, it adds an extra button, let's put it that way. So far sight, I, does it just do an area around me? Do I have to pick somebody here? Activate you, no, to can, reveal an area, a, got it. Yeah, it's basically just an entire radius of the circle. Here there. they come, I see. So if you need to use it for spotting, you can look on top of the uh, of the cap right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I'm good, I'm good. Well, I actually am surprised that they were able to turn in before we were after us winning basically this entire first half of the game here, but we are almost up by two levels, so. Your is at hand. Watch out for Toronto. Yep. Yep. This Lucio player is playing way too... He's very aggressive. Oh, you know, he's playing a little bit too uh, bold here. That's going to come back to bite him when I get to the I'm going to tap the fountain before it goes down. Watch out for that wave. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, That's walked the, right um, into it. Yep. That one does an enormous amount of damage. Um, I you're not careful. Oh, Zeratul, you're supposed to stay on Jimmy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why but, he backed up. If you, if you go in there and you're going to initiate, you got to stay focused, man. I've got you covered. Yeah, so there, that's the that's the ability, uh, Farsight. Yep, yep. And that will actually expose, that will break stealth, by the way. So, by all means, feel free to use that on the Lyra if you see her, you see the, the uh, Shimmer. Right away. All right, I'm, I'm, I see I'll a Shimmer right there, there, but I'm down, cleanse is down. Yeah, she's right yeah. there. Oh, man, I was about to, I was about to get her with that. There we go. All right, so we lost the bottom fort, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we are... The enemy team did get caught up. Yeah, there you go. Ancestral healing, I'm assuming, is what I want. Yeah, bloodlust is pretty good, too, but yeah, you want you want that for us. You see his dead level. I told you, as soon as he we get level 10, he's going he's gonna to be sad that he went that bold. <laughs> I got 15 to turn in if you want to cover me real quick. Yeah. Backing up. Me too. I didn't actually get the turn in, by the way. Oh, we, damn. We distracted him enough on the uh, bot lane. Clear is right in the smoke, right there. Gotcha. Going after the Lyra. Ah, oh, 
couldn't get the heal in time. It's alright. Good oh, god. Oh, I got the gravity laps. Yeah, so the so ancestral healing takes a it does like a wind up of like a I don't know about a second and a half or so. So you kind of have to precast it. But we got the web weavers though, which is that's the most important part right there. My pyro blast is also up in about twenty five seconds. Look, All right, get back to it. And for any viewer who, who saw, if you saw a, a very brief frame rate dip on my end, uh, and watch my point of view, that's because I also had. had oh, pop. Oh, get me out of there. Almost killed Valera. I'm, I'm actually surprised she didn't die. Valera's right next to me. Oh god! Our Valera needs to turn in. She's got 32 gems. <clears throat> there she goes. <clears throat> and if you want, you can throw down. If someone's turning in and you need to cover for him, drop a uh, drop an Earthbind totem. Like at the entrance of the of the choke point, and that'll really slow the enemy team down if they're trying to. That makes it. sense. Didn't even think of that. Whoop! There they are. I'm gonna turn in the twelve that I got right now. Always love a pocket healer. Jimmy's in the smoke right here. Where? Smoke. Watch out! We're fighting down here. Backing off for a second. Back in. Oh, Zarya with the whip. Come on, Zarya. Oh, I died before my cooldown was ready. It's all right. We got eight seconds left on Pyro Blast. Let's drop the beat. All right, so Lucio just wasted Sound Barrier. Let's go. I'm trying to bait them into coming after me again. I'm low on mana here. Okay. I don't know what Toronto's thinking. Yeah, now goes Tyrone. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. go I'm gonna be real quick for yeah, mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm on my way back. Cleaning up top. They're fighting mid. <clears throat> and six. This will get us the uh, cap right here. Actually, no, it won't. I'm an idiot. I can't. Uh, I can't map. Four short. Four short. I'm in. Yep. I'll cover you. Got that gravity lapse. Let's uh, let's try to fight him in mid if we can. I've got 30 seconds left of fire blast. Clear is gonna go on me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and tap the fountain real quick. I'm not hard thing. I'm just gonna go. Okay. 15 seconds left of fire blast. Oh god. All right, Pyro Blast is back up. So if you can, if you, the next time you expose, the, the next time you're about to ping uh, Valera, let me know, and I'll Pyro Blast her as soon as you expose her. Okay. We should be able to push down a fort here, though. Theoretically, anyway. I don't know. I don't know how we're losing the game in uh, in terms of uh, map control. Yeah, what happened to our freaking spiders, man? I think they they're already all, got taken they're out. They're already down. Oh my 
my god. Oh my god. She saved Valera so hard. She got me while I was while I was winding up for Pyroblast. I can't believe the cast didn't go off. But I shouldn't have been that far forward, but I thought that I was gonna be able to get them. You're good, keep fighting. You're good. Yep, yep. You can go in. You can you can actually do a lot of damage to the him. Lyra should be dead. There we go. I have no mana. It's all right. Yeah, just just do something out of there. Let's go. All right, 14 minutes, 38 kill, or sorry, 31 kills so far. And they've gotten uh, ahead of us in XP. Yeah, we lo we lost a couple of key uh, team fights. Well, it's probably really my my shitty support. Well, no, they've got a they've got a pretty a very stun heavy comp, but it, it, it's all predicated on them landing their skill shots, which they which is easier with the Valera on their team because Valera can just cheap shot and Tyrande can follow up with the player it's his level 16 stun. She probably has. Oh. Yes, Valera, that's where I am. You have found <laughs> me on the map. I'm proud of you. It's a tough job. Someone's got it. Yeah. Good Christ. Can only do so much to save you. Eat one too, Valera. <laughs> I can't. I have no heal. Okay. I don't know why Zeratul didn't do anything about her. I was expecting Zeratul to, uh, to uh, kill her right there before she actually got out of the star fall. You expect too much of him. Yeah. <laughs> he just stopped doing that. <laughs> All right, we ended up turning one for three, so I can't really be mad about that. We still have our top lane is completely fine. And bot didn't, uh, we didn't suffer too much damage on the keep. But uh, we, we've only taken one of their fours down, which is honestly super surprising. Our I team go top isn't the greatest. Hand -hand. Having Valera and Zeratul on the same team, like, that's the only reason why we're ahead on kills, really, is just because they can just gang up on the same target, but they can't really do laning or anything like that. That's how we're sort of losing out. Whereas if you take a look at their team, they only have one Stealther, and everyone else they have can at least sit in lane and so. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna get it again. Look how many gems they already have in. The safe wager. So yeah, if we can if we can contest their turn in, we should be able to turn this one around and then go grab the boss. If possible. Thanks, Getting out of Star Fall. Yep, 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 me too. Well, that fireflies is going to be huge! The Lyra is still hanging around. There she is. There we go. The Lyra's down. I can't, uh, I can't fight underneath the... Uh, Meanwhile, Zeratul's just wiping out mo just NPC mobs. Zeratul, why? <laughs> we can fight this. I don't know why he threw out a... A barrier there, or a uh, void prison. All right, their Valera is dead, so I don't have to worry about too much right now. Other than hitting a follow-up stun. Nice stun there, Toronto. Yeah, we need to push hard with this wave. All right, Lucio's pretty much dead. It should be. You didn't die. Okay. Back enough. Eighteen seconds left on fire blast. Is your uh, is your heal up? Not for fifteen seconds. Okay. Um, if you right, if you if you hold Alt and then left click on your on your Alt. It will spam what the cooldown is to the rest of the team, so they gotcha. Know. There you go. 
Alright, Valir is down bot right now. We can push down one. It's up now. Okay. Just keep your eye on me, because that's who Valir is going to be going for. Getting out of the scarf. All right, and just like that, we've caught back up, Mathis. That's crazy. This game is just all over the place. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's the 35-point field goal. All you got to do, it doesn't matter if you're losing <laughs> for the entire game, just kick one field goal that's worth 35 points, and uh, you'll be fine. I heard a cheap shot. I don't know where she is. Yeah, it's over here. I'm going to heal. Yep. Sony is playing super duper like aggressive, way too aggressive. It's like 50 54 though. It's paid off a couple of times. Yep. She's probably just banking on it, paying off. If we win this time. fight, we need to go take the boss. Yep, go take the boss or end the game. I think we should go take the boss though. You Why tell me where that? to go, man. I will go. The top, if we get the boss, then that will basically control the rest of the top lane. No, we can't end the game right now. They're saying just win. Oh, they've got three. Oh, they have three down. I thought they only had two. Well, yeah, we could have. We could have ended the game. Yeah, let's end the game. That's my fault. I saw, like two. Like Jimmy, Rainer, Lucio's like porches right on top of each other. I thought we only killed two. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know that we killed three there. That one's my bad. We can still we can still definitely push this back and end it though, but that's 100% my bad. So they're up in eight seconds, but we've got a huge wave coming over here. Yeah, they're, they're screwed. Fire blast up in two seconds. Keep Zarya alive and we'll end this. I got no heal up right now. Okay. Hang on, now I do. Big one. Boom. Yep. That's game. Good job, Mathis. Woo! Good stuff. 30 to 16, Mathis. 84,000 healing. Out healing, <laughs> almost out healing the two supports on the other end combined. By the oh, way. I think they, they were that bad. What were their supports? Well, I mean, well, they had Taronda, they had Taronda and Lucio, who are both very strong supports, more so Lucio than Taronda, but as far as like actual pure healing goes. But yeah, I mean, you still did the job of basically two supports in one. What'd you think of, uh, what'd you think of Rhaegar? I actually like, it took me a little bit to understand like when to use what and get the hang of them and realize I can actually get in there and feel safe. But uh, I liked him a lot. I like aggressive heroes like that. So it was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, man. Well, that's gonna do it everyone again. Thank you very much for the support on the series. If you wanna see more, let us know down below. Drop a like, leave a favorite, subscribe, comment, all that kind of good stuff. Mathis's channel will be found down below in the YouTube information box. And as always, we'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, so long everybody. Goodbye.